Okay, well, while I'm taking expensive lights to bits, I might as well take a VL5 to bits as well. This is a, a very early VL5 uh, moving light by Verilite. And uh, these uh, were so highly prized when they first came out, you couldn't actually buy them. You had to just hire them in um, as required. So basically speaking, it's what you might call it slightly a, 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 it's a, it's got a processor in it, but it's not, uh, it's not able to operate on its own. It needs a repeater unit that takes in the DMX, converts it to the Verilite protocol. But after that, the, the units communicate. They seem to, they, they do quite complex things. It's not just communication. They can uh, upload software and uh, stuff between the, the these units and the main unit. It's quite sophisticated little lights. Uh, they've basically got stepper motor drivers and output, and the stepper motors are actually uh, small linear actuators where you've got a rotating core inside and a threaded section that will then wind in and out. And when these wind in and out, just uh, detach one from here so you can see this, it actually moves an outer ring which activates these dichroic louvers. And it means that it can be varied. Uh, you've got cyan magenta yellow again, and a, in this case it's a tungsten version, so it's got a frost in the front. If it was the mesohelite discharge version, the, the uh, discharge lamp version, it, the front one would actually be a blackout shutter, so you could actually control, you could shut the light out completely while keeping the lamp on inside. So um, that's fundamentally all there is to these. They, they have a, a tilt motor. A uh, gear tilt motor and a uh, uh, pan motor in the top. So, um, and yeah, they're very good. They're, the, the fact they're so simple, I mean, I keep saying they're simple, but then they're actually quite complex processor board in them. But they're very rugged. Uh, they, they can handle being put outdoors and getting wet, in a, you know, in, with, to a degree uh, without actually just um, blowing up like a lot of the modern electronic ones do. Um, so this is a it's it's a very old light, but um, still widely in use. Um, we we certainly use a lot of them in this job, uh, mainly the tungsten ones. Now we used to use a lot of the discharge lamp ones, uh, which had the. Uh, uh, there's another thing worth noting: the discharge lamp ones had the igniter in the top yoke, and they had the electronic ballasts mounted remotely, and it meant that they're they're very light. You know, I can pick one of these up in each hand. I could even, if I wanted to, pick a couple up in each hand. And you can't do that with many of these uh, modern moving lights. So um, yeah, it's definitely it's a it's a great little light. Um, it's a, 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 I'd hate to see how old this light is, and I'd hate to even guess what shows it's been on because it's probably seen more musical and rock and roll history than uh, yeah, it's seen its fair share. It's been on movies. This this particular light is guaranteed. It's just been everywhere because uh, all these lights were in heavy use all the time. Um, great little lights, actually very good.